Oh, go scatter, share yourself. Come out and say happy say. I haven't done nothing wrong to none of y'all. I haven't disrespected nobody or anything. He's treating me with respect and like a human being. Because yeah. Not sure. like a drug addict. I'm, I'm here. I'm a career criminal. I run from police. On January 16th, 2021, it all began when a man named Justin Dubois and a woman found themselves locked in a heated argument. In a fit of rage, he brandished a menacing butcher knife, turning a verbal dispute into a life-threatening situation. Faced with the uncertainty of the situation, law enforcement made the decision to take swift action. The front door was forcefully kicked in, revealing a scene of potential danger. Inside the residence, Dubois, the instigator of the disturbance, was found concealed within the confines of a household freezer. What's he doing over here? Hang out here for me. Unless you're gonna open. What's he doing over here, sir? Huh? Why is he over here? Justin, it's the sheriff's office. Come on. Where are the kids? They're at my grandmother's. Who else is inside? Just him. Just him? He keeps telling me he's going to slaughter me and my kids if I let him go to jail. Well, why didn't themselves. you tell the deputies all this stuff earlier? Because I was scared. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do? Lock you out of the house? He was nodding out sleeping. Like he said that he was going to be open my house. And I kind of okay. Well, did he lock you out of your house? No, he, he nodded out and I called the cops. I know he was sleeping. Is he inside? Yeah. Yeah, he is the door room. locked? Yeah, and I, my keys and everything. I got the phone. You know, like, okay, how did you get locked out of the house? He was knotted out inside. I don't know what that means. He was asleep. He was on dope. And he was so he was asleep? Yeah. And so, so you locked yourself out of the house? No, I ran out the front door. He woke up since I got outside. I started coming out here screaming. Hey, bitch. Okay, so how are we going to get in your house? I mean, I can break a window. My landlord said I'm allowed to. It's my residence. So, I mean, unless you want to kick the door in, I'm giving you permission. Well, I mean, you going you gonna to have to pay for that, damn it. No, I will. It's a small price to pay for all the what I'm getting rid of. So, Justin, come on. You're not making this any easier. Sarah, why didn't you tell us about this earlier? When you came out and talked to us? I know. Was you were with us. He's not going to hurt you when you're with us. I don't do anything. Like, I called the other night when he mixed tunchi in my weed, and it made me almost die, and no one took him in. Listen, Sarah, I can't say about what happened the other night, but I can talk about what our shift will do. And our shift will handle business the way it's supposed to be. I called y'all. I didn't call. And then after y'all left, like, he pulled a knife on me. And he thinks he's going to slaughter me and my kids. And when he gets out, he's like, I'm only going to get five or ten years. And I'm going to sit in there and plot. Like, who wants to live like that? Is there anybody yeah, else inside that house? The door open up. He started talking crazy. He went under my sink. said he was going to try and put poison in his food. And, like, he likes to joke about sick shit like that. So basically what happened is they were out here earlier for disturbance. From what I'm getting, she didn't tell him about it earlier, but I guess he had attacked her. She's got marks down her right side. There's an injunction in place with the injunction. So there is a no violent contact. Obviously, we have the marks there. He's refusing to open up the door. He's not yelling or screaming, so he could be passed out for all I know. So she signed a consent to search for him. Press go in there and go get him. Violation of injunction because it's got the, uh, no yeah, no violent contact. But then the funny thing about the injunction says no violent, but it also says that, that he can't go within 500 feet of this place because that pertains to the kids. How long is it? So the kids were living here when the injunction was issued? No, sir. A week later. What do you mean a week I, later? I, they left September 28th, and I filed the injunction October 6th. So the, what, why did the judge, why did the judge say he can't come here when it's pertaining to the kids? Is this the kid's address? Not anymore. It's mine. But we went back to court October 15th, and that day he violated it because he was over here when I was in here. And my, the people that were staying with me, Ryan McLaughlin, and Martin, let him in while I was with my lawyer. And Has so he ever lived he here? Lived, sir? Has he ever lived here? Yes, he has. But the landlord, I mean, um, this has been my place for almost four years, so... I got Coach you. Brown was like, yeah, it's her place, because he pulled one on, after, pulled one on me after the cops left and told me if I called again that he was going to slaughter me. I really didn't call. Someone else called because he was out here putting his hands on me. He said if I let him go, he's going to slaughter me and my kids. And he gets out, he's like, I'm only going to get five to ten years. This really ensures you'll get him out, right? This will get yes. him out. Okay. If he's inside, yes. Justin! Sheriff's office, open the door now. <coughs> it's open now. Wait. <laughs> Oh, go scatter, share yourself, come out, I'm saying happy, say, find you, you know, boy. Oh, go scatter, share yourself, come out, I'm trying to get out of me, trying to find you, you know, boy.
come on. Hey. Come on. Hey, keep your mouth hands off me, cracker. Hey, what? What do you do now? I you crack for you to slam me like that. Well, I haven't done nothing wrong to none of y'all. I haven't disrespected nobody or anything. Be quiet. Why did he just slam me like that? Well, last time I saw you, he looked up, you were running your mouth, and it looked like you were pulling away from him, but I only caught a glimpse of it. So now, see, here's what I do, because I'm too old to slam people. I just tase them. God, you understand? Huh? I haven't done nothing wrong, sir. Anything Tony, stay here with him. Yep. I'm not running from everybody. Yeah, sir. Why do I run when was the last time you were in? Oh, you know, about two months ago for being over here because she said I was allowed and then called the cops because I didn't want to be here. If, if if you go in the living room and look at the front door to the left, behind the take front door, other shoe off. do you hear me, sir? Take yeah, we're listening. God, just, damn, take, I can't take the other shoe off, sir. Can you not see how motherfucking tight it is, sir? Like, God damn, I can't take it off. Can you take it off? <sighs> sir? God damn. Check his pockets before you go sit in check there, the pocket, check my asshole, right. check whatever you like. Right. I don't have, I don't have, but, but anyway, sir, how, how you doing? You all right? I'm going to tell you this, Justin. If one person comes outside from your yelling, I'm going to charge you with another charge. Uh, you understand? Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm talking to Sarge right here. I am the sergeant. He's the sergeant. He's sergeant I am the boss. He's Sarge to me. Excellent. He's the boss to me. Because he respects. He has respect. Good. He acts like Lift a real, your foot up. A real what are you trying officer. to check? He acts like a real shoe. officer. Do you need his other shoe? He's treating yeah. me with respect and like a human being. He's yeah. Not shoe. like a drug addict. You don't think I had enough time to hide something in my asshole or something? Like, shit, I think I'm hiding from you, dude. My girl told me I could Dude, come just here. be quiet. She's mad because I, because I didn't want to be with her. All my clothes mm -hmm. are packed to the box behind the door. Gotcha. Look, look behind the front door to the left. All my clothes are packed. I was trying to leave, sir. I got to untie the shoe. The same thing that happened last time that I went to jail for this girl. Well, you got an injunction that says you can't be here. I have a non-violent contact with her. I have and she's got marks all over. She has what? Marks all over. Then you refuse to open up the door and do what so you got to do. So she's saying I hit her? Do what you got to do. Come on. I promise you she ain't saying I hit her. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, yeah, she did. I bet you she did. She did. Uh, well, guess what? I bet y'all can't give me no more than five years. I'll be back out. No, I'm good. I can't get life. It's outstanding. You better tell the truth. You understand the rights as I've read them to you? Do you wish you could talk to me? I haven't done nothing. Yes, I need a yes or no, Justin. I haven't done anything. I came over here to get my stuff. Hey, hey, b before, yes, before I'll, I'll I talk to you, I'll okay, talk to you. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. I was riding my bike to here from Blue Water. I, 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 I have multiple witnesses. Um, Brittany Bromstead and her parents. No, I don't know if her parents see me over there. I was at Brittany Bromstead's house in Blue Water. So when did you come? What time did you come over here today? Her and her baby daddy, Levi Wise, picked me up. They picked you up? Okay. From, from Niceville. I was riding my bike to come get my clothes because we have a nonviolent contact order. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I was, so I'm allowed to be over here. So I was coming over here to get my clothes. I packed my clothes up. She was getting mad because I was packing my clothes up. And, uh, whatchamacallit? She called the police. Next thing I know, I hear banging on the door. So I locked it up and I hid it in the fridge. Okay. Did you and her argue at all? Yeah, we argue every day. No, I mean while you were here tonight. Were you yeah, packing we, your clothes up? You guys arguing? Verbally, yeah, absolutely. What, what are those little statue things out there in those the Those are my grandmother and my grandfather's that just passed away. Okay. And that's like one of the only things I have left. Dance and, well, I took my throat off. It's in my box. I need to make sure my mom gets all that. And she likes to throw them down. And she, like, she, likes, to throw, she likes to throw them down. So she, threw, she threw them out there? I swear to God on everything I love. You can call Levi Wise. Call Levi Wise. So what? She runs look, out. Look she at her phone. Look at her on, phone on, on Facebook. On. She came and got me. I, I don't. I don't doubt up. it. I don't doubt it. Okay. She came she, me up. But she. So she runs out the door because she's gonna call us. I didn't know she was gonna call the police. All right. Did you open the door and start yelling at her? Yeah, I started. I started yelling, Sarah. Sarah, okay. where you at? Because we were supposed to go in there and watch the movie and go to bed, and I was supposed to leave in the morning. So she came with this other person to pick you up in mm -hmm. Nashville. Her baby daddy. Okay. And she got mad because she paid her $20 to come get me. And I told her, look, I don't know why you came to get me because we're breaking up. I'm coming to get my stuff. And she thought I was playing. She didn't think I was really coming to get my stuff. Okay. You can look. Look behind the door. Just go in the Sorry. Go look behind the door. All my clothes are packed in a box behind the door. Okay. I know. I believe you. I swear to God, man. This is bullshit.
Were you here earlier She's tonight? Because I don't want to be with her. Let me ask you this: Were you here earlier tonight when I the cop? I've been here all day. When the cop showed up a little while ago? No, I haven't been what here. What time all day. did you show up here? I just got here about 30 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. So if I asked another cop because he saw a guy in a hoodie walk inside the house, that's not he's not gonna he's not gonna I, ID I you. I have not seen no I have not seen no cop come to the house. No. All right. I haven't seen a cop come to the house. No. I just got here. So within the last hour. I got it's here about been, 30 minutes. It's been about an hour because I've been standing out here oh, for 30 well, minutes. I was in the fridge for a little minute. I don't, yeah, I don't know are. how long it's been. I'm on drugs, sir. I don't know. So about an hour ago, you show up here. She comes. I, she goes about, and gets about you. About 30 minutes ago. I don't know. I don't know. What like okay. what? What just make sure. That? I'm just what making bro, sure I got what my. Bro, what brothers is that if I was here or not? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Why we had to kick the door and why you, why were you hiding in the fridge? Because I seen police. Well, if you have I run a right, from police. If you've got a right I'm, to be I'm, here. I'm a career criminal. I run from police. I run from y'all. I hide from y'all. Not every time. Cops and robbers. Good guys, bad guys. Not you. I would never hide from you. They should have just sent you. I would have came right out. I was here. I was the first one to bang on the door. Dang. Where's the Where's the baby daddy at? He by wife? Yeah. He left. When, what was he, what's he driving? Uh, a red two-door trailblazer. Red trailblazer. It's like a trailblazer or um, what's the other one? Like the little uh, Chevrolet G or or GMC uh, SUV. Yeah, little the small one. Yeah, the red one. Like trailblazer kind of. That's okay. Maroon, right with the one. All right. Okay. Justin, when the deputy put you on the ground, did you suffer any injuries? Okay. So no injuries, none whatsoever. You need any medical attention? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks for calming down. So he drops two of you off. Yeah, like, like you guys go inside. I was at, I was at my homegirl's house. Is that where you've been staying, Niceville? No, I was just there last night, and um, she wanted me to come stay the night with her because she's been working for the past few days and she has some money. She's like, let's go out tonight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Shit. I was like, I'm thinking about going out to to uh, Atmar, Alabama, go to the casino. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to go to the casino when we but we couldn't find a ride. I got you. So. Um, I told her I was like, look, I can't find I can't find a, a ride home from Blue Water. I'm gonna start walking. If you wanna come pick me up, you can t come pick me up. And her and her baby daddy can pick me up. Gotcha. So you come then, here, you go inside, you decide, look, I can't deal with this no more. Mm -hmm. So you start packing your stuff up. Yeah. And I How were you gonna I, get back to Nice? I had I wasn't going back to Nice though. But I told her on the phone, I was like, look, we start fighting again, we start arguing again. I was like, I'm packing my shit. You can look right there behind the door, to the left of the, the door. Inside. All right, give me a second, okay? Baby daddy comes, picks him up from Niceville. And I've gotten two different stories out of it. Okay. Initially, he said both of them. Yeah, they both came, picked him up. Okay. First story, they pick him up so he can come and get his purse, because he's done with her and blah, blah, blah. Second story, he calls her up, hey, I got a little bank. I want to go, she says, what are you doing? He says, I want to go to a casino. So baby daddy comes, gets him, brings him over here. They can't find a ride. Okay. They start. They did start arguing because she didn't want him did to he leave. Ever, he, did he admit to hitting her? Nope. Never, he said he never put his hands on her. Okay. He said the, the stuff thrown around in the front yard, she did it. So you don't know at all I'm in charge with anything? I do not. You have kind of an idea? Um, I know at least aggravated assault for the knife. Aggravated assault? Yeah. What knife? Knife in the living room, brother. Knife in the living room? Yeah. What knife in the living room? She said I pulled a knife on her. Yeah. And you think if I pulled a knife on her, I would leave in the living room? Yeah. Why would I put a knife in the living room? Hey, sir, can, can you radio to them and tell them they can look all around that house? That girl leaves knife all around that house. The living room, the bedroom, her closet at the bottom of the closet where her shoes are. In the bathroom uh, above the toilet, there's knives all around that house. Can you not, can you not read that information in? Oh, you can't. You can't do that. You can't do that for the suspect, huh? You can. You can only do something like that for a victim, huh? You can't do that for the white boy with tattoos on his face. That's crazy, bro. Welcome home. I know. That's what you said. You'll never know. Dubois was charged with resisting arrest, domestic, aggravated assault, and violation of a restraining order.